Rob Wright, two draws in a row, and in round five we're up against the Firebirds for our rematch, but this time we're heading up to Brisbane. Yeah, t tough place to play, I always find. They're um, really good on their home court. Um, they're, all, they're really good on our court as well. Um, so, yeah, it'll be, it'll, it'll be an exciting game, um, and I'm sure both teams probably um, uh, would like a result. Um, but, yeah, three, three draws in a row would be quite interesting. We know you've spoken of the consistency, but what are the Swifts working on at training to ensure that you return from Brisbane with the two points? Yeah, we are, we are looking for that consistency. So we're spending some time today looking at, especially the fever game around, um, really probably the first and the last quarters because our first quarter um, by our standards was below par and they, and they were incredibly good and I, I thought we were far better in the fourth quarter. So we'll be really having a comparison around those two quarters to see well, what's, what's so different and, and how we can, we can make sure every quarter is probably a little bit more like the fourth. Obviously, Kim Green didn't return uh, after half-time during the Fever game as a precautionary measure. Our fans will want to know, how is she travelling this week? Uh, yeah, look, she's actually doing OK. Look, the head clash in the, in the first half, we just felt it was probably best just to take her off and let, let, let her see out the rest of the game from the sidelines um, because we want to make sure that she's probably right for this week. So uh, we'll, just, we'll just monitor her. The, the, the medical staff will just keep an eye on her and we'll just go day by day. But look, everything's looking OK at the moment, so uh, let's hope we see her on Monday night. And so it will be a big game for Kim should she take the court um, and her Firebirds counterpart, Laura Geitz. Both captains are set to make their 100th ANZ Championship appearance on Monday night. Uh, do you expect Geitzy to rise to the occasion, especially considering it's on her home court? I expect Geitzy to rise to the occasion every time she takes the court. Um, and look, congratulations to both of them on, on 100 games, uh, a magnificent achievement um, and two absolutely world-class players. So I expect Geitz at her absolute world's best um, sort of performance. So um, we're going to have to be really well prepared to make sure that we can um, get those two points. And it will be the Swifts' last game before a bye in round six. Does that change your preparations for uh, the team, knowing that they'll have a break the following week? No, not really. Um, probably the buyers at a good time for us. Um, after after some really uh, close, well, close currently closer than two draws, but after some really tight games, uh, yeah, we just want to make sure that we finish off this last one before our buy, and then really start preparing for the next phase of this competition.